Okay, a couple months passed since we split all that firewood. I got about, well, I think there's four stacked up face cords there, and I got another pile over there, probably almost double that. And uh, But before I put this away, this county line tractor supply three-point wood splitter, I got a couple um, things I'd like to do to it. Uh, the, these legs here come with it, and they, they work okay if you set it on the concrete, and that's it. But if you set it in soft ground, it sinks in, wants to tip over. Um, ideally, the way I like to operate this is not to leave it on the tractor. I got extra long hoses, put it off to the side somewhere and split my wood. And, you know, I, I can just unhook and take the tractor and use it and come back. I don't need to leave it on. And that also gives me more room between, you know, the, the frame of this and the, and the tire. And... Um, so what I come up with is I want to make a, a log cradle, as you saw from that one video. When I put a, a chunk up there to split it, a lot of times it'll fall off the back. So I went to Tractor Supply. They make a cradle that fits right here in these bolts. And you can bolt it on, take it off. Not in stock. They can get it. They think right now it's delayed ordering. But around 100 bucks. Well, it, it looks like couple pieces of metal that's it so nothing fancy I think I could make something to do the same trick for no money on objects that I already have I've got some uh, quite a few of these actually they're they're new just been sitting around um, just pieces of channel they are uh, almost an eighth inch anyway they're pretty heavy for what they are and I think what I could do is it's the same on the back side as this side, but if I take and, and put it up here, probably this way, line it up, I can just put a bolt in. I could drill that out and put a 3 8 bolt in it. And so what I want to do here is just mock up the pieces. So if I did something like this, it would mount like this. The next piece, hook on there probably cut the length off four to six inches and then do this I don't, I don't want to stick it out this far um, it'll work if it's disconnected but it won't fit down in here and I don't want it to scrub if I move it around so ideally if it's around a 12 by 16 but if I I bolted that together or probably just welded it um, just do a bead on there I could actually just take this off real fast it'll do the same trick I can um, I can mount it like I said this way or I can flip it over and mount it this way which might make better sense because then when the uh, let me grab a piece of wood here to show you this is just a small piece but if it was a big you know block they and you split it breaks off it falls down you got to pick it back up it rolls away so if this was bolted in and it was up this direction it would roll and tend to stay on here and i could just grab and bring it back in push it away grab it until you get it down size manageable here so i think this is what i'm going to do i'm going to get out the chop saw i'll i'll measure this first but i'll i'll see what can fit on here Looks like I gotta take off two lengths, at least four inches, so that it clears the fender and clears the wheel when I lift this up and down. So let me figure that out. Grab the tape measure and uh, this is in the up position right now and if I check to where it would attach to the chain on the tire, you know, it's on the tire, 17 and a half inches from the tire 16 and a half from the chain so I would say if it was 15 inches or less would be great and when this gets let down I'll let it down a little bit it actually looks like it gets farther away so eh, it's all about the same so I think if we did a maybe even a 14 inch that way I could you know set it up I can change the top link here and make it a little bit longer to push it away farther. Um, and then 
but I want it as large as possible so when this is on here it's going to be down just under this that I can roll away it won't hit anything and so I think that's what what will work and these are these are 18s and like I said the maximum I'd like it to go is somewhere around you know 14 15 I don't want anything to interfere these chains are pretty tight but if they got any slack I don't want it to hit it if I just whip it out or go down the road with it I don't want it to bang onto it and then I'll put it on probably with you know just a bolt nut I can actually take it off and put it on at sight or I could you know stuff a tractor pin in there might be a better idea weld a tractor pin on and just use a clip and I can throw it on top and put it on after and I can put a bigger cradle on so I don't want a too big a one in case I leave it on the tractor though so that's the size I'm going to go with and I'll get out a chop saw and a welder here so if I just mark my pieces at, at 14 the length wouldn't matter on either side so I can leave two of them long and I'll cut two of them and I'll do them at 14 piece of chalk here probably cut them both at the same time chop them off I'll go get my power plugged in. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. I'm going to take advantage of it here. sometimes by sanding them. They're pretty sharp to handle after you cut them. Let's see how this fits. This sits inside. It's not bad. That's a good looking box. Let's see if I can get an arc on this one. I'm doing this without grinding, so... this side
stick them corners together good. Now we got a box. Now I want to finish welding this off. We got some yellow paint here. It's uh, Rust Oleum Sunburst, which matches pretty much. Like this can is about about 15, 20 years old. I used on a project, and uh, I just want to get a little paint on this. I'll slap some on tonight here on the kitchen table here, and uh, right on some cardboard, and um, flip it over. Do some of that. I drilled them two holes, and. I'll cut up a couple bolts and I'll have absolutely no money in this project. Alright, this is what I come up with guys. I just took them spot welds you saw, welded them on there. I found a couple used bolts, 3 8 by 1 and a half and washers. And what I did is I took the balance of that piece of steel I had that you saw me cutting and I just welded that on the back here. And I'm going to bend them just probably by hand because they're only, you know, eighth inch. And that's going to be my log catcher. So the used paint, open paint, there's no money at all in this thing. I even used to use welding rods. But with the help of my assistant, come over here and help me, would you? We're going to take and just bolt this on. I got washers on the back side. And the paint's still a little damp, but I just want to get it over with before dark. I well, just bolt this on here, and if you could reach through and try to line them bolts up, they should be in the right spot. Do you see one? Yeah. All right. Try not to get any paint on you. And they're both the nine sixteenths head. That line up too. Get your washers on. Get that washer on. Right here. Yeah. Where's that gonna go? Right All right, and then um, we're about a little over three inches from the from the chain, the tire chain. So I should be able to transport this pretty easy. And the the one I think the log cradle that you can buy has like an up arch on it, and it'll be up here, but. I don't care if it rolls off and it's down out of my way an inch. It's just that I didn't want it falling down in here and they're trying to pick them back up. You good? All right. Now we're going to tighten this up. He's got the gun. I got the wrench. Which side you start? Try that and see if that works. Hey guys, we just finished tightening that up. And like I said, I know it's not pretty, but it's free. And uh, the paint, everything was used and free. It's not exactly an implement yellow. I don't care. Just so it's not rusty. So anyways, this is the example. I got some chunks way over there. These are already split. Not even the same species. But uh, for example, if this was a big... Like, how big do we have, Dawson? Some of them were like 24, 26 inches. Yeah. When you go to bring the splitter in, and a lot of times, you know, this one will fall this way, and then this one would want to roll back. And that's all I want to do. I want to keep it up in the air so that I can take this one, throw it up into the trailer so it doesn't go on the ground. The object is to not handle them so much. Then, say this was a larger piece, I can just roll it forward again bring it in, split it again, and then throw it. So that's
that was this whole object and you see how much room we got here we got over three inches I should be able to transport this with no trouble and it's on with three eighths bolts um, you know that should be fine that should be able to hold uh, you know 100 pound 200 pound piece and no problem and uh, I'm gonna test it out next season or possibly this summer see how well it works and if I like the design or don't like it I'll change it it's not a big deal I've got about 30 minutes in it and um, you know we're gonna test it out see if we like it remember to like and subscribe guys and uh, I'll post some more videos and uh, hit that notification bell throw a comment down there tell me what you think of this uh, free kind of funny looking uh, um, log cradle and I got some more stacking to do now and we'll see you on the next video